First project this week will be ripping out those floors I just installed. After only a day or so of being installed, these started chipping, um, so we're not thinking that they're gonna hold up super well long term. So we tried to pick out something different at the floor t at the store today, <laughs> um, and we brought these home, and we hate them. So we're gonna send Josh to the store. This is our um, armrest piece by the couch, and this is a piece of our ceiling. So he's gonna take these to Home Depot. While he's gone, I'm gonna set up in Sarah's backyard and get a little bit of painting done. That way we don't lose out on too much time. But that's why we say that it's super important to, if not build at Home Depot, build very close to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Borrowing a painting shirt from painter Josh today because I'm out of clean ones. Give me that! Give me that! <laughs> so I've got all the pieces I cut and primed yesterday. I'll be putting the paint coat on now so that they're all finished and ready to be hung up. Really tired of painting to be honest. <laughs> Josh is back with flooring that I like much better. Paint is drying. Let's get started. We're on the final few weeks of our build. We couldn't be more excited. Wanna show him what you picked out, bud? He did a great job. Much better, they're so pretty. They look really nice with the ceiling. Much less pink and a little bit darker. So first things first, gotta get the old ones out. I will say it is a little disheartening um, how many hours it took me to put that floor down and that it only took us like 10 seconds to tear it all out. Uh, lesson learned, new stuff's going down. Two steps forwards, one step back. We're gonna do a nice good seal around the edge of our subfloor and then we'll do another seal around the edge once the flooring's down to prevent water damage. So our game plan for this week is to try and get the floors done, the rest of our ceiling up, our cabinet doors on, and our cabinet hardware installed. We'd also like to get our countertops in and our sink and stove mounted in the countertops. That way next week we can finish up electrical, plumbing, and just any touch-ups that we need and we'll be all set and ready to hit the road. We're finally getting to the end of the build, but we're definitely feeling it. I feel like by the end of the build every time I'm so exhausted and I'm just so ready to be done. It's a huge project, super rewarding. Um, but yeah, towards the end, I am definitely running out of steam, ready to be settled back and feel more at home. Bouncing around between the two vans has left me feeling a little bit ungrounded lately. Um, so I'm really excited to have things return to normal a little bit, even though our normal is like very far off of normal normal. <laughs> anyway. Josh got it all sealed up, and now while we're waiting for it to dry, we're gonna go ahead and get our countertops cut. Piece here that was like half inch. 37 and three quarters.
saving this for a cutting board possibly, it's still on the side. So much lighter. <laughs> yeah, there's not much left there. <laughs> oh, they look so good. And we're gonna install a little kind of lip backsplash here to keep things from like rolling off the counter and out of the van. We popped our sink in just to see what it's going to look like. I love it! I love it so much! <laughs> it's amazing. And the view from my kitchen is going to be incredible, y'all. I love it. I think it's perfect. What do you think, bud? Yeah, it looks awesome. Well, the polyurethane seal that we put on the countertop is drying. Josh and I are working on the ceiling. We've got our first piece cut and we're gonna try and get it finished off before we do the floors tonight. Now that the ceiling's finished up, it's time for one of my absolute favorite fan projects. Putting on the vent fan cover, something about this is super satisfying to me. So we're gonna get that ceiling 100% finished off! Redoing the floors was definitely the move. These are so beautiful. In the box? Yeah. Huh. It's weird. We're not really sure what happened, but all of the flooring in this box is already pre-cut. 
um, to these really strangely small pieces and we're not really sure why but it's giving us a little bit of trouble making things a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. So it turns out we only have one full length piece left so this just got real interesting. They got the Haley seal of approval. very fancy 12 volt outlet. It's great! As of right now, I'm planning to climb up by stepping up onto the bed from the back to get up there. We were thinking about maybe doing a ladder, but I started hearing stories about people getting their solar panels stolen, so we decided not to go that route for now. Last minute decision to add a little bit more support in the center, that way over time they don't start to sag. I cut this thin piece of plywood because it's just the right size uh, to be the same same height as the gap that I left here so this will go in the middle and that will support it but because it does need a polyurethane finish to hold up to weather over time we'll be doing that this evening and we'll have to install that first thing in the morning <laughs> it's finally cooled off some which has been amazing we got our very first cabinet door on loving the cabinet handle it looks so good we also added a quarter inch We also added a quarter inch plywood finish to the front of all of our cabinets. The last one's drying outside right now, so then hopefully we can get the rest of our cabinet doors on. And it's really starting to feel like we're in the home stretch finally, which is amazing because we're exhausted. So tired. Van build burnout is real. What you building, babe? Uh, this is our spice rack pull out. Our slide out spice rack, it looks so good. I can fit a lot of jars of huckleberry syrup in that spice rack. Hey bud? <laughs> We're finally getting to some of the finishing touches and this is where Josh really 
does his best work. Everything he does turns out so beautiful. on the slide out spice rack. It's so amazing. We have so much storage back here, you guys. It's kind of insane. I just love it so much, guys. I can't. Also, this comforter feels like a sitting on a cloud. I slept like an absolute dream last night. So shout out to my grandma for this beautiful housewarming gift. Oh, and it matches my little decorations so well. I'm so excited. This will be the forever home of our one and only actual live plant. Yes, you heard that right. I've managed not to kill this one yet, guys. Yay! She looks super happy on her little shelf. We wanted to put her somewhere right by the door so she'll get lots of light and I won't forget to water her because she's right by the sink. <laughs> Hello again, it has been quite a few days since we caught up. I had a wedding that I went to last week, so I was out of town for a few days. Josh continued working while I was gone. In the last few days, Josh has been working on our electrical system. I have not been capturing, and I will not be sharing too much in that department. Josh and I decided together as a team, since this channel is more my channel, and I am unbelievably unqualified to give electrical advice that we will not be going super in depth on how our electrical system works. If you guys have any specific questions that you'd like to ask, please leave them in the comments below and we will do our best to answer them. But we are not electricians, so that is why we will not be sharing too much of that with you guys. I've been editing this afternoon while he's been getting all that fixed and ready to go. Our system is all hooked up. We need to pop the roof deck on and plug in our Wii Boost, and then we'll be adding our fuses and we will officially have lights and a working vent fan. I've been really enjoying working in here today. I'm feeling really inspired by this space now that I've added a few homey touches. I've been trying my hardest to resist like bringing in all of my decor and things because I'm hoping to do a like final move in vlog with you guys. Oh, but she's having a hard time resisting. Decorating's my favorite. We're getting to the point where we have walls for me to put things on now. So I'm assuming that will be coming next week. So stick around for that and subscribe if you haven't because we'll be hitting the road soon in my little sunset van. I did go to Target today and get a couple of little fake plants for the kitchen counters. I also snagged the year's first pumpkin candle. And all of these fall decor pieces match our orange comforter so well. Um, so we're going hard this spooky season, guys. Okay, but enough chit chat. I missed you. Good to see you again. Um, let's get back to work because we have a very quickly approaching deadline on this van, guys. Guys, I feel like we already did this. in the middle looks like it's holding up that center area so much better. Start by drilling a hole. Fill the hole with black seal. Step two. We got a new tool for this project, guys. Then we insert the rivet. What's this tool called? Uh, a rivet. Oh. I've heard it called um, from where I heard about it, Rivnut, but I'm not 100% sure. So fact check me on that. Anybody that knows? This is a rivet tool. Will you explain like what it does? In the so when I pull these together, it pulls the ball down and expands the end of it, and it, that seal that locks this end. So. Since I can't access the other side, it'll be bolted down without us having to rip out our ceiling and be able to bolt it in from the inside, basically, if I understand correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna put this washer on to hold hold this down. 
Just like that? Yep. Wow. Just like that. Repeat, repeat. <laughs> Does it work okay? Excellent. Be careful climbing down. I grabbed Josh and I a cold one. He's finishing up on the roof. But I think this is where we're gonna leave you this week. We'll see you next week to get the faces on those beautiful drawers, start working on our gas and plumbing, and installing our fridge, and getting our electrical system officially powered up. So you won't wanna miss out. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Cheers. since we never actually really finished off those flooring, those floors. Okay, Josh's joke of the day. What's a frog's favorite tool? What? A rivet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys.